Oh gosh, could it be a wild blanker? What's good? Welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a short, simple, easy, and reliable server in Minecraft Pocket Edition that comes with a one-week free trial. And you'll get your server up and running in absolutely no time. It's very, very fast and simple. And these servers are up 24-7. You can get plugins for them. It's it's uh, astounding. And all you have to do to start up your server right now on your iOS or Android device is download this application right here, Leet for Minecraft. Finding it is very, very simple. Go on the Google Play Store or on the App Store like me, and then just search search, search up Leet. When you do that, the first thing that should come up is servers or Leet. Minecraft servers. You gotta got make sure you're getting leaked Minecraft servers because they have multiple apps for multiple different things you can do with your uh, server. Now once you've downloaded the application and you're ready to go, you can go ahead and launch the app. Now here it asks us if you want to create a new server, if you want to create a new server using a referral code, or if you just want to log into an existing Leet server. Now right here I have a, I have a little secret for you. If you tap on create a new server using a referral code, you can put in the referral code AGHQ and you'll get 70 free credits. That will double the credits on a brand new server. That turns it into a two free week trial. But right now we're just going to go and create a new server. And once you press create your own server, you can see immediately it starts creating your server right off the bat. And really quickly as this thing loads our server, I want to say that I'm actually going to open up a public server for us all to join. And it's all thanks to Lee. Lee was nice enough to give me enough uh, supplies to create a server for all of you guys. Oh, oh, okay, okay, now it's loaded, and now we can see it's giving us some information talking about the server. I'm not really going to read that, but you can. And now we can see here our server has loaded. And there's a couple of things we want to do to get the server up and running so we can actually use it for some pretty cool things. So first of all, let's talk about the credits. So up here, you can see it says we have 70 credits. That's enough for seven days. That's one whole week. But if you try to uh, buy some, uh, or not buy, but use some credits to get some other things, then it may short in your time so it's not exactly 10 days and right down here you can see how many credits you're gonna use per day it's 10 it's 10 credits right now but the more things you purchase and the more th uh, things you enable the more the higher that number will go up and then right here we can see buy credits now things get kind of expensive here well not too expensive I mean like if we're talking about the uh, uh, five buck two thousand credits that's a pretty good deal that's over 200 days for five bucks yeah yeah. And then for 20 bucks, you can keep it up for 1,000 days. So this is basically where you get all your credits to keep your server up and running and for you to go and get some awesome plugins and also enable a lot of awesome stuff. And then right down here where it says server status, this is where it gives all of our information about the server. So we can say right here it's online. You can turn it on and offline so that no one can join it. Then also down here, you can see the IP address. Now I'm going to show you how to use these two things in a little bit, but right now we're going to just look at some things we can do with the application and now you can set the OP and admin this is the person that's going to uh, like be the overlord of the entire admin this is the person who's in charge of the whole thing and no I don't have an E in adventure because there's not enough characters instead of adventure gaming HQ to keep that entire thing and now under that we can see we can change the game mode to creative uh, survival adventure or spectator now this is for everyone in your game if you want everyone to be in creative you set it to creative if you want everyone to be in survival you set it to survival like that but you can actually Actually, you yourself as the admin you can change from survival to creative to adventure to spectator all by yourself just with some with some commands but it doesn't mean you're actually gonna make everyone change the game mode just yourself and then right under there we can see our map and there's only two maps available but that's why we have to go right down here uh, past get help and contact us right here down to advanced mode now when you turn this on to advanced mode you can have a whole bunch more settings like a whole bunch more and now you can see when I enabled the advanced mode we have a lot of stuff. Now you can see when we go back to map, we have a lot more options. We have standard, flat, ta taz tazadur city. I don't know if I said that right. That thing is like a really cool like city type of thing. Then we have cave where you spawn underground in a cave. Then you have arena. It's like a standard world except with a, a, a big circle in the middle with a bunch of hills around it. Then we have desert. We already know what that is. Hill, plains, 
Podzol, and then we have Snow. Me, myself, like to stay inside Flat Worlds because I like to build a whole bunch of stuff. And then right down here, we have a whole bunch more features. We have Spawn Protection, Whitelist, Whitelist Players, Number of Slots, PvP, Animals, Monsters, Weather, uh, Always Day, lo uh, User Login, and Custom Ranks. Now, all this stuff is uh, mostly f for you to find out, but I'm going to go through a couple of things. So first off, let's talk about the Whitelist. The Whitelist is so that you can only have certain people to join your server. Like, so here, if you turn on the Whitelist, whitelist just like this now you can see when we turn on our whitelist we have to go right down here to whitelist players then we add our player so let's say we want adventure gaming hq there we go and now only i can join the server no one else now let's say we want to have uh one of my good friends aneski 007 i think that's how you spell aneski 007 I, I can't remember if it's one n or two n so whatever and then we have mcpe mike and then the xz gamer xz so now we can see this is our whitelist and these are all the people that can join our server and no one else moving along we have number of slots now this one's very important this is this this determines how many players you can be on that, that that can be on your server so what we have is five players which is 10 credits per day and if we were to do uh 10 players then it would shorten our uh, free time to use the server and then the higher and higher you pick the more expensive it will be per day you can go all the way up to 100 players that's pretty impressive next up we have pvp this means player versus player now, if you want to have people fighting on your server, if you want to have that combat type of stuff, you want to turn it on. But it's actually off right now so that people can't actually fight each other, which is what I want. I don't want any phone fighting only in certain areas. And then for the last important thing, we have user login. Now, if you turn this off, that means anyone can join your server and they don't have to log in. So they can join and be my bro in SK007, but they're fake. So I like to keep this on so that people actually have to log in to get into my server. So that's it for optional features now let's move right down here to premium features now sadly to say all this stuff is most likely impossible to do without actually buying credits because these are all plugins that you can add into your server like unbanned items like you, you can actually have lava and TNT you can get admin fun there's PvP arena there's so much awesome stuff but as you can see all of them have a price tag this is 999 credits which you cannot get at this point if you have only 70. Really quickly, I want to say one of my favorite ones is the teleportation one. This one, you can throw snowballs and wherever it lands, it's just like an ender pearl. It's like basically having ender pearls in MCPE. Now right down here, we have some pretty awesome stuff. We have server rollback, which I'm not 100% sure what this is. Actually, it says right down here, so I was actually right. So when a world is like destroyed or something, you can actually just restore it back to the original a couple days ago or a couple hours hours ago whenever you want but it also says here that's pretty risky I'm not too sure what, what could happen but it says that you could you should only use it if there's an emergency and then there's some more stuff like repair server get help and server data now there's a couple more things you might want to go through and read inside of this, uh, uh, this application because there's also some other really important things that I may have missed. So now, once you're ready, you can get onto your server by doing the following. So right down here, as I said, here's the IP and the port. So what you want to do is you want to remember the IP, which is a13122.leet.cc, and the port is 13122. So all we got to do is remember 13122. Now we go into Minecraft Pocket Edition, and we go and create a new server by doing the following. We press play, we go here to friends, and then we tap on this thing right there, and then we're ready to, to type everything in. So I think it's 13122. Yep, I got it. And then we do the, and then the IP is A13122, and then we do that leet. Dot cc so you can see here it says new server 0.15.0 let's join it so let's see what we got in here oh okay so it looks like i was automatically logged in because i've uh, logged in recently now we can do whatever we want now by the way to get into uh, different game modes you have to do slash game game mode just like this then you have zero which is survival one which is creative two i think adventurous and three spectator i'm i'm not 100 sure but we're gonna go into uh, uh creative right now so now you can see we're automatically in creative so basically having a server in minecraft pocket edition using leet is like having mods having commands like being able to have a realm that everyone can join it's 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 crazy so that's it everyone that was how to create your own server in minecraft pocket edition 0.15.0 and most likely uh, yeah, yeah probably way way above I'll 
I'll see you on the flippity flop. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.